Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to get some smooth camera movement in your game. I'm going to show you how to move from a room that looks like this to this and then to this. Alright, so this is our starting position. You can see I've got a couple of things set up already. I'm going to quickly go through them. I've got a couple of sprites. This is my player sprite. I've got a blank square. This is just going to be our floor. I've got a tile that is going to be spread across our background. And that's just going to allow us to actually see the movements of the camera. And there's another sprite here, which is going to be a point, And you'll see how I'll use this later. We have one object set up, which is our player object, and he only has a couple of lines of code, which is going to let him move left and right. You can see here the code's very simple. And then our room. This is what our room looks like at the moment. See, it's very long, and the first thing that we're going to need to do is set up a camera system over here, right? So to do that, first thing you want to do is go down here, go to your viewports and cameras, enable viewports, and set your viewports to be visible under viewport zero. I've already got these dimensions set up for my camera, and that is just creating this box over here. And then whenever I run the game, you will be able to see Our player moving moving around now the next thing you need to do to get this camera moving go down just a little bit where it says object following click here select your player and now when we run the game the camera is going to follow us So at the moment, you have to be right at the edge of the screen before it actually moves. And that is because of this number here. This horizontal border is 32 pixels from the edge. So that describes exactly what this means. You increase this and then we'll be further away before the camera moves. So let me show you that. If we change this to 400, let's say, and the, the width of our viewport is 960, so that's almost halfway. Oh, wait. It doesn't work going to the left because that is the actual end of our room there. But if I move to the right, you can see now the border is much closer to the center. So here you can see that the camera works following our player, but it's pixel perfect at this moment. It's lit and it, it just doesn't feel good. It works, but it could be better. And that's the key to this tutorial. And it's a real simple fix. Let's get to it. What we're going to want to do is make a new object that follows the player with a delay. And then we're going to set up this object following to this new camera object, this player following object that we make. So let's create the object. I'm gonna call it object uh, camera, let's say. It doesn't need a sprite. I'm gonna give it one, this point, just so we can see it to begin with and you can see what it does. And then we'll get rid of that afterwards. Now, let's go into the step event and do a little bit of code. So this camera, whenever the player moves, the camera is just going to follow it slowly. A really great way to achieve that is to tell it to move a percentage of the distance between itself and the player each time. And that's going to give our smooth gradient movement. So the first thing we need to find is the distance to the player. 
So let's say var distance to player and that's just the difference between their x coordinates. So we'll say object player dot x minus our x. Next we want to find a percentage of that distance. So we'll say move percent equals distance to player times whatever percentage we want to move. So if we want to do 5%, say 0 0.05. And lastly, we just move that move percentage using x plus equals move percent. So over here, you can see, uh, this is the camera here. I'll just show you, object camera. Move that into the room and let's press play. And this little dot, that's our camera. It's gonna follow our player, but just a little bit behind. You see how it sort of slowly gets to us? It's nice and smooth. We just need to set up our camera to follow this instead of our player. And then we're gonna be right as rain. So let's go down here, change it to follow our object camera, play that. And now the camera is smooth as butter. So let's get rid of the sprite on the camera and play that. And here we go. Just like that, we've honestly drastically improved the feel of this camera. And it's that simple. Okay, so now you've got your smooth camera fully functioning, I'm gonna do a couple bits of polish. Back in our camera object, um, our Y position wasn't actually following the player. And in my example, that's not gonna make a difference because the room height is fixed here. Um, but that's not gonna be the case for every game. So all we will do to fix that is you can either set y equal to object player dot y or you can do a similar thing to here do a distance to player getting the difference between your y positions and then do a move percentage and then move that percentage with your y value however the second bit of polish that i wanted to show you was that these two lines of code can be combined into one using a function that's already in Game Maker, and the function is called lerp. You can see down here, lerp accepts two values, value 1 and value 2, and then it accepts an amount. The amount is a percentage that value 1 is going to move towards value 2. So, say for example, we have our current x position and then object player dot x position and we move 0 0.05 towards it. This function is going to give us the x position that is 10% towards the player's x from our current x. If I open up the help here quickly you can see that it gives an example, lerp 0, 10, 0.5. That's going to move you 50% from 0 towards 10, which gives you 5. And down here, it actually tells you that if you put something that's above 1, um, you can extrapolate, which means that you're going more than 100%. So if you went 200% from 0 to 10, you're going to end up at 20. So with this code, you can either set this up to be a variable and then set that variable equal to your x position. Oops. Just position. 
Um, you need to make sure that you are setting it to be equal and not plus equals because it's given you the exact x coordinate rather than just the percentage. It's already added that together for you. Or you could just, you know, cut that straight into here. Whatever floats your boat. And this is going to work just the same. Does the exact same thing in one line of code. If you wanted to use this for your Y position, you would just say lurk Y object player dot Y and then your percentage, 5%. Now, if I was to like move this camera to the opposite side of the room, and if I change the room height, so we can see that the Y is moving, let's make that 3000 as well. And then if I move this down to this corner, say, let's see what it looks like. Whoa. Okay, so the border here is still 32 for the, the vertical border. So I changed that to say 400 as well. That was kind of crazy. Nice. I'm gonna move this camera back up. That was all a little, that was all fun and games, but wasn't really necessary. Let's get the height back to 542. And the very last thing I'm gonna show you is say you want um, the camera to be centered on the player so that you don't have this border, like each side, it's just in the center. What you're going to want to do to change that is go into your camera object, go into the create event, and here what we're going to do, we're going to use a function called camera set view border. And this takes three things. It takes the camera that we're trying to focus on, it takes the X border we want to set and the Y border we want to set. So I'm going to make those as separate variables. If we say my camera equals view camera zero, that's the camera that's on the viewport zero. That's how you refer to it. We want the X border to be halfway across the screen. So X border equals view W port zero. This is the width of our viewport and it's the viewport zero. That's the one we're referencing. So using view W port, that gives us the whole width. You divide that by two to get the middle. And you can do the same thing for your uh, y border, your vertical border, view h port, so this one will be your height of your viewport, and we're looking at the viewport 0, divide it by 2. Now we can just plop those into the camera set view border using my camera, x border, and y border. And now if we run this, doesn't matter what we've set our um, border to be here, that camera is now going to reset it. So you can see now the camera is centering on the player. And a quick editor's note here, um, whenever you use, for example, in our camera object, we're referring to this object player. Um, it's very good practice to check that the object player actually exists before you just use um, its built-in variables because if the object player dies, for example, 
and you've got code still running and you're trying to look for the object player and you can't find it, your game will crash. So whenever you do anything like this, just make sure that you check that the instance exists using instance exists and then put in the object player and then just make sure that everything that you're using of the player object is inside this brackets. So if the player dies, then just no code will run here. And that's all there is to it. I really hope that this has been helpful and that um, it's a lot simpler than maybe you thought. And uh, if you didn't think it was simple, at least you were able to follow along regardless. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.